a very, very good and effective thing to do. You cut a square out of your, a whole pair of pantyhose, making sure it's been nicely well, laundered, of course. And then you put in the little, in the fabric, a Hudson Jumenthal jujube. Incidentally, they're not made anymore. Did you know that? No, they're not, unfortunately. No. But, um, they are scrumptious, and you can get them at some old chemist's. If otherwise, a curum quick or something like that. Or even a barley sugar and a clove of garlic. Then you tie it up like a little old blue bag, you know, with an elastic band. Put a string on the end of it, tie it to the bed head, and pop it in your mouth and go to sleep. And so what happens? The string will prevent you from swallowing mm. the pantyhose yeah. duck. And it just lies in your mouth all night. And, and it, it, just, it does the oh, trick? Oh, it does the trick, yes. The garlic has special trace elements and properties. And, of course, the little cold lozenge and whatever else you might feel like popping in it. Your favourite cough lolly, really. As well as the garlic but you you see that it dissolves slowly you can't chew away at it and the old pantyhose fabric is porous and all your dribble mixes up with it it's beautiful what well, a great idea and this is your own original idea pantyhose suck i love it well, you won't believe this day matt well yeah, hopefully you will a dear friend of ours nancy lee has called through not nancy lee nancy lee you darling it's Are wonderful to hear from nancy? you nancy I, that brings back a memory i doubt if you would remember but i'm a little bit older than my darling bert newton by a long way and a little melody is creeping into my head now i'm going to start singing it because there's a whole generation perhaps who don't know who we mean by nancy lee and if they don't they should because she's very much part of our lives and i'm going to sing a little ditty and anyone listening who knows it, quietly join in. And Bert Newton, if you know it, I want you to quietly join in. Okay. Being a chum is fun. Ah, that, that is why I'm one. one. You know it. Always smiling, always gay. Chummy at work and chummy at play. Love the way your troubles. <laughs> Don't be sad or glum. And everyone will know that you're a chum, chum. Chum. All together. Being a chum is fun. That is why I'm one. Always smiling, always gay. Chummy at work and chummy at play. Laugh away your troubles. Don't be sad or glum. And everyone will know that you're a chum, chum, chum. Oh, Dame Edna, it's always a thrill to be with you. Oh, darling. Welcome back to Melbourne. I'm crying. What can I say? Look, I'm coming around that side of the desk just to give you a little, a little oh, kiss on the hand. Darling, just to thank my you. cup I hope of tea. Look, I've got a cup of tea in my lap. Just very quickly. Mm. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, all over my suit. I work between 9 and 12 any morning, and you're always welcome here, Dame Edna. God bless you all. It's wonderful to be back. Just before you leave, is there any one special message that you have for the, the people of Melbourne? You know how thrilled they are to have you back here. Well, I, I have a request, and that is all my beautiful gowns I have to pack in cases all the time, and they get a little bit yucky. And I've run out of lavender bags. You know how the lavender all crumbles to dust and then it goes black and spills everywhere? If anyone has got a little lavender bag or something sweet-smelling, pop it in an envelope and send it to me at Her Majesty's and make my beautiful wardrobe more fragrant. Okay, that's any lavender bag or any scented bag to Her Majesty's Theatre here in Melbourne. Dame Edna, thank you again uh, to everybody listening this morning. I hope you've enjoyed this morning's program. You'd have to be. Uh, rather unusual if you didn't enjoy the company of megastar Dame Edna Everett. Bye-bye. <laughs> to our sickies and to our friends at Peter McCallum, we're thinking of you. Until tomorrow at 9 o'clock, have a lovely day. If you're having a bet, I hope that you back a winner. Goodbye, everybody. Everything I do, I